Welcome to the second video about electrocardiography. In the first video, I have mentioned that electrocardiography is the recording of electrical events in the heart. So what are those electrical events? After the formation of an action potential at the sinoatrial nodes, electrical activity, the action potential, starts spreading to the rest of the heart. During this spreading, dipoles or bioelectrical potential differences form between two different areas of the heart. So, what is a dipole and what is a bioelectrical potential then? Because electrocardiography records these dipoles. So, if you have an accumulation of negative charges in one area and if positive charges are higher in number in the other area, when these two areas are relatively close to each other, an electrical potential difference forms between these two areas. The electrical potential differences recorded in our body are called bioelectrical potential differences. Bioelectrical potential differences are recorded by a very sensitive voltmeter which has two electrodes. Each of these electrodes are placed in one of the areas. So each area has, is connected to one electrode which is connected to the voltmeter. One of our electrodes is positive electrode, the other one is negative or the neuter electrode. According to the location of the electrodes, uh, bioelectrical potential recordings are classified into two, intracellular recording or extracellular recording. During an intracellular recording, we make a recording from only one cell. During an extracellular recording, we make recording from more than one cell, from many cells. Actually, uh, we record the electrical potential difference between two groups of cells. Here is cell group number one, here is cell group number two. So, electrocardiography is an extracellular recording of the dipoles formed in our heart. So, let us try to understand what intracellular and extracellular recordings are in more detail. In case of an intracellular recording, we record from one cell. One of our electrodes are placed outside, another one is placed on the inner side of the membrane, and we measure the difference between the two sides, bioelectrical potential difference between the two sides of the membrane. Because we are recording from one cell, our electrodes are relatively small in intracellular recordings. So I have taken this ventricular cell down here and I am trying to explain, I will try to explain the membrane potential in one cell during different uh, pieces of an action potential. Here is a ventricular action potential and the ventricular cell at the resting membrane potential has higher negativity on the inside. How do we express this? We say that the resting membrane potential is minus 90 millivolt and the sign in front of this millivolt always refers to the inner side of the cell membrane. This minus 90 millivolt resting membrane potential means that Inside this membrane, on the inner side of the surface of the membrane, there is 90 millivolt more negativity. What happens during depolarization? During depolarization, the action potential reaches a peak about, of about plus 30 or plus 40. And plus 30 means that inside of the cell becomes positive, 30 millivolt more positive compared to the outside. And after repolarization, the cells reach their resting membrane potential once again, and the inner side of the membrane is negative again. If you put all of these together, we need to understand that during an intracellular recording, 
we always refer to the inner side of the membrane. So let us move on to the extracellular recordings. We see here a voltmeter measuring from two groups of cells. Because the groups of cells are larger area, we have, as I have tried to show here, that we need to have some larger electrodes. Each of them placed at each of the two regions that we are going to compare. At the bottom here, I have taken only one group of cells. Okay? This is the same group of cells, and I am trying to examine the condition, the, the charges around these cells during different phases of action potential. After we learn this, I am going to go back to two groups of cells and I'm going to try to explain the dipoles between two groups of cells. But here I start by looking at one group of cells. In extracellular recording, we are interested in the charges outside the cell. This is the opposite of the intracellular equation. Uh, intracellular recording when we are interested in the inner side of the cell membrane. So here, during the resting membrane potential, this group of cells have positive charge. They are positively charged on the outside of the cell membrane. When there is depolarization, they are going to be charged negative on the outside. You see here that when depolarization happens, outside is negatively charged. And when the cells repolarize again and go back to the resting membrane potential, outer side of the cells are going to be charged positively again. So, we can see here, I try to stress on the fact here that we, in case of extracellular recording, we are interested in the charges outside the cells. Now that we have understood what happens to one group of cells, we can now move on to the electrocardiography recording, which compares the outer charges of two groups of cells as seen in the figure above here. 